smooth. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. You found my YouTube channel, tinymountainwellness.com. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I put out other videos having to do with health and wellness. I also have a blog at tinymountainwellness.com, so check that blog out and you're going to get a lot of information on intermittent fasting. We're going to try to improve your sleep. We're going to try to reduce your stress and do what I want to do, and that's slow down the aging process. So again, we're going to talk about apple cider vinegar. I put an article out on the benefits of apple cider vinegar. I'll reference it in the description below. There have been a lot of studies proving the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Two things I think where apple cider vinegar makes a great difference in our life. First of all, in how it regulates glucose, blood sugar, and that insulin spike that goes along with it. If we can keep normal glucose levels without huge spikes and insulin spikes, then we don't store fat as readily. Second reason it's good is for our gut. Now, I haven't put many videos out on this. I'm really just studying the importance of our gut and the health of our gut. You know, the gut is actually known as the second brain. And it's actually connected to our regular brain via the vagus nerve. So it's important that we have a healthy gut. You've probably heard terms like leaky gut or uh, dysbiosis and those sort of things. We have healthy and unhealthy microbes in our gut and we need to maintain a healthy relationship and a healthy environment for our gut. If we have digestive problems or anything else, that affects the rest of our health. And apple cider vinegar, being acidic, helps regulate the pH in our gut and it allows that healthy bacteria to thrive. So there'll be more videos on our gut. But talking about apple cider vinegar, oftentimes when you watch YouTube videos or you check out my, my blog, I refer to Bragg's. And the reason Bragg's is a good brand is because it's organic, it's raw, unfiltered, and it contains something called the mother. So if you look in here on the bottom, you'll see some sediment. The, the vinegar is actually a little bit cloudy. Well, that's because it's unfiltered. But some of that cloudiness, the mother, has some healthy minerals and healthy substances to help our, our gut. Uh, but even though we push Bragg, which is readily available, there's other brands. I actually found a brand, Kirkland brand, a Costco. And it had the mother. It's raw, unfiltered, and organic. So uh, as long as you have those things, raw, unfiltered, organic, and it contains the mother, you're going to be in good shape. And again, cloudiness, sediment on the bottom. If you look at just a regular apple cider vinegar, you can see it doesn't say organic, doesn't say raw and filtered, there's no cloudiness to it. So that wouldn't be as healthy as the Kirkland brand or the Braggs. So again, 5% acidity. A lot of times our body is a little more alkaline and that regulates our pH in our body. So take that every day. I just worked out about an hour ago getting ready to eat, fairly large dinner, and I always try to take about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, about a cough syrups or medicine cup full of apple cider vinegar before I, before I eat. I'm going to get that blood sugar, that glucose, and that insulin spike, and hopefully this apple cider vinegar will regulate that a little bit. Now, not many people can just do it like I did and take it straight. So again, I've put, uh, I'll put some references to some apple cider vinegar recipes so you don't have to just take it straight. So, so do that every day. There's actually some studies showing if you take that, uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar before you go to bed, it regulates your fasting blood sugar or your fasting glucose levels while you sleep and has proven to increase fat burning while you sleep. So what other supplements should you take? Um, there's all kinds of studies out there. There's all kinds of advertisements. You could really go crazy and spend a lot of money on supplements. But what should we really be taking? Well, 
I think a lot of that depends on what your doctor might tell you, what your blood tests may tell you that you're deficient in. I'll tell you what I take. I generally, every day I try to take a fiber supplement. Now these happen to be gummies. And I noticed when I first started intermittent fasting, going low carb, that I was a little irregular, sometimes constipated. And so I think I was just a little bit low on my fiber intake. I'd say most of us who eat the standard American diet probably are. So I just take a couple gummies uh, with every meal. Another thing that I like to take is turmeric. Turmeric's been proven to have some anti-inflammatory effects. And as I've said in another video, I have an autoimmune disease. I'll reference that video in the description below too. But I have an autoimmune disease and it manifests itself with inflammation, almost arthritis. In fact, it might be a form of arthritis. Um, luckily, I haven't taken medicine for that in a long time because of intermittent fasting. And I don't feel the effects of the inflammation so much when I'm taking turmeric. So I take this supplement, two pills every day, usually with a meal. Um, there's natural ways to get it. It's generally in curry powder, so you can add that to your foods and your soups and get it in a natural way as well. One last thing I take is just a general chewable one-a-day vitamin. Try to make up for some of the deficiencies in all these um, minerals and vitamins. Um, but hopefully we don't have to take any supplements. If we're taking or eating a healthy, balanced diet, we probably aren't deficient in many supplements at all. So again, maybe your doctor at your physical when you get a blood test, if he tells you you're deficient in something such as vitamin D, calcium, magnesium, potassium, possibly you should consider a supplement. But until then, don't just buy into the hype. You can go crazy. Uh, trying to figure out what supplements we need to do. But make sure raw, unfiltered, organic apple cider vinegar with the mother every time before your meal. And I'm going to start taking it before bedtime and hopefully I'll get that fat burning at night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.